the bereft family of an eight-month-old baby critically injured when a car plowed into his prim and his mother a week ago today released a poignant picture of them together after the little boy died. Nicole Newman, 23, was pushing here San Luciano's Prim when they were both hit by the vehicle in Bange, South London at about 8 p.m. on Sunday, January 13. Yeah. Miss Newman died at the scene having cried out for her here son, who was left fighting for his life but has finally succumbed to his injuries in hospital a week later. The tragedy unfolded in front of the baby's father, Charlie Bianco Ashley, 25, who was walking with them and had tried to save them by leaping in front of the pram, but her car missed him by inches. He has now lost his childhood sweetheart and beloved baby boy in the collision, and Nicole and Luciano's family have now released their first photograph of mother and son together. The police investigation is ongoing and the driver of the car is cooperating with police. A Scotland Yard spokesman said, an investigation to establish the full circumstances of the incident is ongoing and the driver of the car is cooperating with police. Officers are continuing to appeal for witnesses and urge anyone with dashcam footage, including footage from the minutes leading up to the collision, to come forward. Anyone with information should call the Serious Collision Investigation Unit on 0208-285-1574 or Crime Stoppers on 0800-555-111 Apostruf. Local residents are raising money for the funerals and have raised more than 2,800 Pfund of a 3,000 Pfund target on GoFundMe. A post on the website says, sadly, this campaign is now raising money for two funerals. Luciano, the baby that was injured in the crash, has passed away and is now back in the arms of his mother. It is incredibly sad and I can imagine what the family are going through. If you the not donated yet, please unterstrich week unterstrich card unterstrich do unterstrich sonntag and please continue to share and thank you for all the support. Apostrof Luciano's grandmother, Gabriella Bianco Ashley, described how the family have been torn apart. Yeah. She said, he visited the baby last night in hospital. Has in a critical condition and going for an operation today. He had to be resuscitated twice and has a spinal injury. Charlie told me the driver came from nowhere. He tried to get between the driver to protect his son and Nicole. Apostrophe while she lay fatally injured, Miss Newman, 23, was heard screaming about her child Luciano. She died at the scene a few moments later. Witnesses to the horrific incident have also spoken of how warehouse worker Mr. Bianco Ashley screamed out for his child.
sitting at the roadside and being comforted by police, he shouted, Apostroph I need my baby. Carlton Fiddler, who runs our takeaway opposite, Zahid, police were trying to calm him down. He was shouting. Punkt, he was hysterical. Punkt, apostroph, little Luciano is fighting for his life in hospital after he was struck by the car. Miss Newman died shortly after paramedics arrived, while her baby son had to be resuscitated twice and survived for seven days. Speaking from her home near Benge, Charlie's mother Gabriella Bianco Ashley said, the couple were perfect for each other and had been together for 10 years. She said, they are a lovely couple, perfect for each other. Punkt, and the baby is so beautiful. They have been sleeping on the floor of my sitting room for the last year since they had nowhere to go, but they just got a new beautiful flat sorted four weeks ago. When he spoke to my son yesterday evening he said they were just sat at home watching our film. Charlie is not coping at all. Punkt in a split second his whole family were torn apart. Punkt as soon as I heard I took a mini cab, I ran out into the road and Charlie pulled me back and said he don't want you to be killed too. Italian-born Gabriella Said Nicole was a lovely girl and she knew her well, as she had been staying at the Bianco Ashley home for a year during and after her pregnancy. But she said, the couple had recently got their own privately rented flat, which was being paid for by Charlie, 25, a warehouse worker. Nicole was on universal credit and stayed at home to care for their son, according to Mrs. Bianco Ashley. She said, they have been sleeping on the floor for the last year. They have been together since they were 12. The baby is eight and a half months old now and they have their own little flat. They could not get a flat from the council and they went private. They were going to drop the baby up to her mom apostroph s. because it's a quicker way to walk. There were no cars on the road and the car came from nowhere. Apostrophe a neighbor who lives close to the crash site told Mail Online, Your last words were screams of Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Fragezeichen Apostrophe that was just after the emergency services arrived. But they kept here in the same spot, so I knew that she was unlikely to survive. E Todd shouting and arguing at first and I thought it was neighbors rowing. When he looked outside our passerby was holding the baby to stop the car or the driver moving from the point of impact. The driver was a man with a young child aged around 5 years old. It took about 15 minutes for the ambulance to show up.
when they arrived, they gave her a drip but kept her there. Hearing her final screams was so upsetting. Apostroph officers added that the driver, 51, of the vehicle that hit the pair stopped at the scene and was later taken to hospital with non-life threatening injuries. The eyewitness added, Apostroph I know her locally. She's a fan, outgoing party girl who likes to be with her family and friends. She was only 23. Her parents turned up at the scene straight after. Her dad stormed off, but her mom stayed there. Aline, who's said to be her mum, had also lost her sister a couple of years ago too, in around 2015 or 2016. Apostroph I believe that we are a close-knit family. I can't imagine how they'll all cope. Another neighbor thinks that she might have had a row with her partner just before the accident. They wondered whether she might have been upset as a result. Apostroph a local woman who lives nearby added, the woman is a friend of a friend as girlfriend. The baby is there and he is 8 months old. He is in an on-off condition at the moment and they are not sure if he will live. Apostroph I am really shaken up. People are always speeding on this road and they need to do something about it. Yeah. Apostroph I can hear them revving their engines from the top of the hill. There needs to be more speed cameras. Apostroph she added that although her neighbors lived opposite to where the crash happened she did not think anyone had seen it from their window. She said, she took a real hit, her handbag flew off in one direction and broke and the buggy flew off in another.